Okay, how about this? This, this isn't really a trick, but this is something I've been working on for some time. And maybe you can tell me whether or not I got any hope uh, for this sort of thing. It's kind of an exercise uh, that magicians do uh, to, to test their spontaneity. Now, here's what the, the situation is. You take a shuffled deck of cards, and, you know, and I'll mix the cards up just like this. Okay? And what you try to do is make up a story using every card in the deck. Okay? Now, the only rules are you've got to use all the cards and you have to use them in order and the storyline has to make sense. Okay? So just kind of test your spontaneity. Now, it, it's real helpful for me if I can kind of glance through here and see any note patterns. Like here's a, a few clumped together. I might be able to use that in the storyline. And you see where all the, uh, the face cards sometimes give you some, some plot lines. Okay, using this deck just as it's come out, I'll try to make a storyline and see how far through the deck that I can go while creating a story. Okay. Now, every now and then, I might have to look through the cards, but I won't alter the order of any of the cards. Okay? Let's see where we started out with first. Okay, there's the card that's on top of the deck. We'll tell a story about Sam Spade. Okay? <laughs> now, Sam Spade was a tall, dark-haired man. <laughs> kind, of, kind of like you. Hey, it is kind of like you. Six foot, two inches tall, with a pair of powerful forearms. <laughs> this could be you. <laughs> now, Sam's most famous story involved the, threat, the theft of three diamonds. Okay? So when Sam heard about the theft, he goes down to the scene of the crime, which just happened to be 647 West... 59th Street, to interview the victim. Well, the victim turned out to be a royal red-haired lady <laughs> who wore a tutu. <laughs> Just the way it happens, okay? <laughs> and had a very nice pair. <laughs> you, 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 you take them as you get them. Uh, yeah, you got to shuffle the cards first. Let's see. Um, Let's see, he described, oh, she, let's see, she described the guy who stole the diamonds as having a, a darkly tinned face. <laughs> <laughs> he took the diamonds and ran between two trees. <laughs> that was good. Into a club. That was good. Ah, okay, I saw this coming down there. Um, Sam was able to get a table even though the house was full. Oh, no. Get it? Full <laughs> okay. house to the kings. It says, okay. Right. I'll give you that the waitress was a dark haired lady with sixy legs. Sixy <laughs> <laughs> Who cleaned his table with Ajax. Ajax? Okay. Sam ordered number three off the menu. <laughs> An eight. Oh, an eight. An eight. <laughs> Just then, the German chef ran out and yelled, nine. German, get it? Nine. <laughs> okay. Sam's face flushed red. Flush? See, he realized he had eaten poisoned food. Oh, no. But at least he got to see the club's entertainment, which was the Jacks and Five. And that's the whole day. Got all the way through. Okay.